Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Sisilawati. I'm an Excel and Power BI enthusiast with decades of business experience. Today, I want to show you how we can set up and use Power BI Slicer the smart way so that we can enhance our dashboard and improve overall user experience. I will show you how we can create Slicer from scratch and then how to tweak them to take it to the next level. Let's get started. We have a beautiful dashboard over here. It shows sales order by category, models. We have a map chart over here, bar chart, as well as pie chart. There is an option so that you can slice by country, which is lovely. I want one more slicer by cities. How do we do that? Let me walk you through how to set it up from scratch. Let's hit the slicer button, type city drag it to the field now you have a slicer but this is a long slicer i don't like that i like to change the format to a drop down list so that it can save space and we can drag it over here so now we are done let's test it blood bad story nothing all right, cool. Let's play with our slicer. Let's look for Sydney. Oh, what is it? So far down the list. Well, a better way would be to change the setting. So click the slicer, format your visual, and then click slicer settings and enable search. The default is off. So click on. And after that, this search box will appear so that you can then type Sydney. And then you can easily click Sydney. How about if you want to do Sydney and Melbourne? Well, all you need to do is type Melbourne after you search for Sydney and the Sydney is still staying there. So you can click Melbourne. But what happened to Sydney? It's gone. Oh, don't worry. All you need to do is when you are clicking it, hold the control key so that you can select multiple location. Now you can do both. So now we have Sydney and Melbourne selected. Now, let's say we want to select everything. So erase that. Oh, how come I don't see everything? Relax. That's because Sydney is still typed in. If you clear that, now you can see everything. If now we want to select everything except blood, which is the top one over here, what shall we do? Shall we click everything one by one by holding control key? That's a long list. Is that a quicker way? Good news. There is. So what you can do is again, click the slicer, go to format, and then hit slicer settings. And there is selection setting over here. And you can enable show select all options. Default is off. So click on and watch this. Now at the top of your list, there is a button that says select all. Everything is selected and you can click and deselect what you don't want. For example, I don't want to include blood. So that's a quick way to select everything except one city. I hope you have enjoyed today's video and have learned how to use Slicer the smart way. So we can avoid scrolling down long lists and ticking endless boxes. See you next time.